My real interest in horse racing, of course, blossomed when I had the privilege to represent Tillamook County in the, in the legislature. But I have to tell you, horse racing and the Pig and Ford races at this fairgrounds and this county fair are such a big deal that my in-laws used to drive up from Northern California and camp in Tillamook. And that tells a really important story that I'll come back to in a minute. That's what a big economic driver horse racing is. But part of the allure of this fair uh, gathering, the whole, the whole county fair, is horse racing. And unlike many venues where you're separated from the horse races, here these beautiful thundering animals come right down in front of the grandstands. We've just rebuilt the grandstands here as testimony to how popular they are. This fair is in its 120th year. Um, and horse racing is part of the whole reason that people come to this fair. But it is as exciting and as interesting and um, it, it, it's really part of the reason to come to the fair. And uh, then I began sponsoring a horse race because to bring the purses up I think helps influence others to get into the business. So often people think of horse racing as just the horses as they come to the finish line. They don't realize how much it takes to put on these races. The grooms, the drivers, the the, the people that keep the stables clean, all of the associated activity that accompanies the horse race. And in order to keep racing vibrant, I think we've got to have respectable purses that recognize the economic realities of racing. And so I'm very proud to sponsor the Pioneer Race, which is one of the premier races. It happens on Thursday of the race week. And I'm very proud to sponsor that, uh, both to support this fair and to encourage racing in general. Well, this has become synonymous with this fair. It's one of, I think, three fairs or four fairs that still do a paramutual racing. And then, of course, uh, Portland Meadows and uh, the big race there. Uh, horse racing has become one of the signature events here. And just as I said, my in-laws used to come up from Northern California and camped here. And they came and they spent money. They paid for camping fees. They went out to dinner. They didn't miss a single event here, either the horse races or the Pig and Ford. And so at this fair, at this fair grounds, racing, horse racing is synonymous with this fair. And people come from all over. It is a key economic driver in this region. And I have joked periodically that when the fair's going, cash registers in Tillamook County are ringing like church bells. Uh, the, the hotels are full, the restaurants are full, the, fair, the uh, campgrounds are full. There are people from all over the place that come for this signature event. And I think that it is testimony to the county's commitment that the county undertook the debt that it did to rebuild these uh, stands. The stands, from an engineering perspective, were practically condemnable. And the county commissioners, at a time of great economic constraint, said our highest priority is to rebuild these fairgrounds and they were very fortunate to get a no interest loan from the local credit union. I think urban Oregon sometimes forgets how important to rural Oregon county fairs are. Right behind me there are kids that have raised market animals all year long and they'll sell those market animals. They'll invest back in other animals or they'll put it in their college fund. I, I say all the time, it's 4-H and FFA kids that are going to be our future citizens. They're going to be the city councilors and the senators and the, the, the people that are going to make our Oregon leadership. So I want to make sure that we maintain these forums that have grown up with Oregon as places where the kids can build their skills, their leadership skills. Uh, and again, going back to the notion of what a key economic driver this fairgrounds and this fair is. And it happens the same way at the other fairgrounds. Over in Redmond, where I grew up, Deschutes County just built a huge new fairgrounds. And uh, I think they understand that fairgrounds have an off-summer use. In Redmond, for example, that's a convention center as well as a, an event venue for concerts and things like that. This facility has an off-season use. And I think we have to continue to keep a state investment in these rural anchors for economic development. So I worry about that. I worry about policy legislation that speaks to animal care. I can tell you, having gone over the Racing Commission's budget for almost the entire time I've been in the legislature, that I have rarely seen a better run state agency. The people that are on the board, the directors, care about what happens to the animals. They care about the visitor experience at the racetrack. 
But the folks on that board run a very solid operation on a minuscule budget. And they're, they're worried about animal safety, they're worried about the conditions that the animals are housed in and how they're fed and how we deal with, with keeping animals at a fairgrounds. Um, so I, I worry about those kind of things. I want to make sure that the racing commission that does other kinds of parimutuel betting stays vibrant. Um, so those are the kinds of things that I'm worried about. We've had a number of bills introduced in the legislature that speak to animal safety. And if you saw the way I took care of my cats, you would know that in this heart, as somebody that worries about animals, but I think I can very safely say that paramutual racing is done in a way that is respectful of, of uh, the animals and certainly has safety among its, its primary motivators.